Hello everyone. This is part three of signals and systems. In this session, we will discuss classification of signals. In the previous session, we have discussed classification of signals. This is continuation to previous session. So please refer to previous parts of the tutorial before proceeding. Now let us understand what are periodic and non-periodic signals. First, we will understand with respect to continuous time signals. Then we will discuss with respect to discrete time signal. A continuous time signal is said to be periodic if it exhibits periodicity. Mathematically, say we have a signal x of t. Then it is called a periodic signal if it satisfies the condition x of t is equals to x of t plus capital T. Then comes the question: What is this t? Here t is a positive constant, and the smallest value for which this condition is satisfied is called fundamental period, and it is represented with t naught. It's called fundamental period, and the reciprocal of this fundamental period is called fundamental frequency, and it is represented by f. That is one by f. Here, this fundamental period represents duration of one cycle. Let us represent a periodic signal. Say we have a time axis over here. It's t, and this is x of t, and the signal is represented like this. So this is zero point one, zero point two, zero point three, zero point four, and so on. If you look at here, this is zero point one. And 0.2. So after 0.2, the signal is repeating, right? So such type of signals are called periodic signal. And fundamental period of this particular example is 0.2, which shows the duration of one complete cycle. This is one complete cycle, right? From this example, we can define periodic signals in simple words as a signal which repeats after certain time interval and which follows certain pattern is called a periodic signal, right? If for any value of t, if this condition is not satisfied, then such type of signals are called non-periodic. Signal. Say, for example, this is a time axis, and this is x of t. And if a signal is represented like this, then such type of signal is called non-periodic signal. Now, let us look into discrete time signals. A discrete time signal is said to be periodic if it satisfies the condition x of n is equals to x of n plus n, where this n is positive integer. And the smallest value of n for which it is satisfied is called fundamental period. Let us represent a discrete time periodic signal. As you know that this is n, and here it is x of n. If a signal is represented like this, so this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So and so on. So, if you look at here, after fourth sample, the signal is repeating. So, therefore, its period n naught is equals to four. In case of non-periodic discrete time signal, it will be like this. Here it is n, and this is x of n two non-zero samples. Abu mentioned periodic condition is not satisfied, so it is an aperiodic signal. If you observe. For continuous and discrete time signal, here t can take any positive value, whereas capital N is only positive integers. Now let us move on to next type of signals. Let us see what are deterministic and random signals. From the word deterministic, we can understand that the nature and amplitude of such a signal at any time can be Predicted in advance. That means the signals are regular and it is characterized mathematically. Say, for example, x of t is equals to a sine omega t. The signal is varying sinusoidally and its amplitude is a. Such type of signals are called deterministic signal. 
that means its value is predictable in advance at any instant of time a sin omega t is represented like this and its value is predictable at any instant of time so this is the time axis and this is x of t and amplitude of this signal is a whereas if a signal value is unpredictable and it is irregular and if we cannot characterize mathematically such type of signals are called random signals example is thermal noise in an electrical circuit one more example is if a signal is represented like this so such type of signal is called a random signal as its value at any time instant is unpredictable let us move on to next type of classification signals are also classified as energy and power signals based on the energy or power of the signal say we have a signal x of t then energy of this signal is represented by limit t tends to infinity integral minus t to t modulus of x of t whole square dt and power of the signal is represented by limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t integral of minus t to t modulus of x of t whole square dt and in case of a discrete time signal that is x of n energy is given by sigma n is equals to minus infinity to infinity x square of n whereas power is given by 1 by n sigma n is equals to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n average power of the signal with fundamental period n is given by sigma n is equals to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n then the signal is said to be an energy signal if the energy of the signal is finite and power is equals to 0 similarly a signal is said to be power signal if the power of the signal is finite and at the same time energy of the signal is infinite but there exist some signals which are neither energy nor power signals generally deterministic and non periodic signals are treated as energy signals whereas random and periodic signals are treated as power signals in the next session we will discuss singularity functions please subscribe to our channel for latest updates please feel free to provide your questions or comments in comment section thank you for listening and have a nice day